One of the things that I'm a little bit embarrassed to tell you is, is that we've been using this very <laughs> inexpensive, honestly terrible air hose for way too long in the shop. And so big shout out to Viver for sponsoring this week's video and hooking us up with their 50 foot retractable air hose reel, which can be mounted virtually anywhere in your shop and then be taken 50 feet in any direction. It'll also pull and stop so that it's not, you know, yanking back in. This is just a super inexpensive, massive upgrade to any workshop or space and we should have done it a really long time ago. But this is a 3 8 inch hybrid hose, meaning it's still got a lot of flexibility. So it's not like hanging up and super heavy and stuff. I don't like those hoses and it's super affordable. So if you're interested in upgrading your shop's air hose system, highly recommend you check this guy out. There's links in the description below. Thanks again, Vivor, for sponsoring this week's video. Let's get into it. Good morning. If you've been watching for the last month or so, you know what room I'm in. I am back to doing more orders. So if you've been looking for the perfect stocking tag or a Christmas ornament for your fur babies, I got you covered. Our client that we did the whole built-in Cedar Media Center for came back and wanted some more shelving um, in one of the sides. So Dylan is out in the shop right now sanding some more shelves. And this week is a really busy week, but also really exciting. And you'll see why towards the end. I'm also making bread for a client gift. So we are actually getting ready to uh, install and deliver these benches in that gorgeous big wide oak dining table in the next few days. We're getting all the little things done that need to be done before then, like installing the soft close hinges. Dylan made the rest of the little trim pieces that need, needed to be made and now these two boxes are screwed together. I think that's it. And all the tops are now attached. So obviously we're going to be taking you guys along for that install in the next couple days. So I've discovered a very small problem with these benches. And I discovered this because I put them all together and then I sat at the table with them and I was like, you know what? That needs to be resolved. That's a little bit annoying. And what that is, is that, well, it's not so bad on this one. It is over here. Hear that metal, I mean, that wood on wood contact. This thing isn't, you know, 100% flat. There's maybe a 30 seconds of an inch gap here or there, but when you sit on it, you don't really hear it so much over here, but, that's very annoying. So every time you would shift while you're having a conversation at dinner, it would be click, clack, click. Yeah, not good, right? So the obvious solution is to just put some of those little stick on <clears throat> little like furniture feet on here to dampen it. I thought about doing that, but I was like, you know what? That's not very elegant at all. And well, I'm all about making things very elegant. So I cut out these pieces of leather, they're also a lot thinner than uh, the furniture pads, which is good because I don't really want them to create gaps so much. I just want them to dampen the sound when it, when it hits. So uh, I already did this on the other one. It worked really well. So I'm actually gonna put these good face down along here, add some glue and then shut the lid so that they're actually attached to the lid instead of one here. Reason for that is, is because 
when you open it, if you're loading this thing in, I don't want these to be in your way, like to have a catch point. Very, it's a very small thing, I realize that. Very, very small thing, but just thinking about like catching it and knocking it off would be like, they'd be a lot safer up here on the top. And also when you open it, you don't necessarily see them. They're up here. So I'm gonna go ahead and add some uh, super glue to these and get them glued on to this other one. Problem solved. Gonna be much better. See that? It's much more of a low thump instead of a clank. Much, much, much nicer. I am re recording this section because I realized I talked for 10 minutes about this. So if you're very interested in the details of what I'm about to say and you would like long conversations in these videos, please leave a comment below and let us know whether or not you want to see that because I don't want to bore you to death. But quickly finish this up and I want to show you two more details that I added in that will provide a better customer experience to hopefully not just get us word of mouth marketing, which people rant and rave about, but will also get us a repeat customer that's even better than word of mouth. And one of the ways that I strive to do that is to provide the best possible customer experience as I can and do things that are unique. So on this one, our branding is actually done with a laser engraved a uh, bit of leather on here. It says designed and built by Woodbrew, proudly made in the USA. Probably haven't seen that before, or at least our clients probably haven't seen that before, where there's a leather badge inside of their bench seat instead of it being like crudely branded on the side of the table or something like that. I, I, don't, I don't like doing that. I would much rather someone have to ask who built it and find out who built it than someone like obviously seeing who built it. And then secondly, over here, we've got the Woodbrew Care Guide, which I think is super important if you're gonna sell furniture that you provide a care guide for the client to know how to take care of their piece long-term. Quickly, I'll say that we have on here like the daily care routines of how to clean it. We also have uh, reminders that it's a very good idea that you should use coasters. Quick pro tip, probably be a good idea to give coasters as a client gift if you're gonna say that you definitely need to use coasters, just an idea there. And then what to use for touch-ups if they need to or if they want to do a uh, maintenance coat in a few years, there's details about that. And lastly, there's details about how wood moves and expands and contracts seasonally. And just a reminder of that, so if they see or notice anything uh, changing slightly over the year, no big deal. It's all designed to be able to move freely and handle that, but know that it does move. And this guy is actually magnetized so that it's removable in case they want to put it like on the refrigerator or something else, or if they don't want it in here, but also primarily because if I just screwed it in, it would be really, really difficult to read it inside of there. But I like doing physical ones when possible so that they don't just get immediately lost because paper ones tend to do that. So a lot of small details that are gonna add up to hopefully an unforgettable customer experience and hopefully a repeat client. So we're gonna get all this stuff packed up and uh, in a few days it'll be getting installed. Well, it is the night before our install and I went ahead and picked up a small five by eight U-Haul trailer to take all of this over to the client's house. We have a pretty good ways to drive this time. It's a little over an hour to the client's home and it's supposed to be raining and we don't have an <laughs> enclosed trailer. So $50 later for two days with this thing, money well spent. For so sure. uh, we're just trying to figure out best way to load it up, obviously to make sure we don't damage anything. And uh, yeah, get it all packed up tonight and head over in the morning. So for install day, we had torrential rain, absolutely horrible weather going to the client's home and also the entire time we were there, which did make things a little bit tricky, but 
the brand new workbench that we built in, I believe the last video or the video before that, uh, worked really, really well. Set up nicely, looked great, and worked flawlessly at the new job site, which is awesome to see. Now, as far as the install goes, we start off with our toe kick area, and we had to get it all leveled up using some shims and things, and then I like to actually use some hot glue to hold those shims in place so that the thing shifts around underneath. And once we have the toe kick area all nice and level, then we can scribe in our actual uh, wide oak boards that cover the toe kick, which was a little bit tricky in this space. And there was also one somewhat tricky miter, but that all went together really well. And then from there, we were able to set our boxes into place. And with our boxes in place, we could get those shimmed out and fastened to the wall and make sure that they're nice and square, which reveals gaps and things because walls aren't perfectly square, which then means the areas where the boxes go to the wall have got to have their trim pieces scribed to the wall, as well as on the tops, those areas need to be scribed too. And so all of that led to us having a quite a long install day because all of that scribing and stuff takes a long time, but ultimately it's what provides the absolute best outcome. So in my opinion, it's absolutely worth taking all the extra time to get that just right. And from there, we could add in our tops back onto the, our boxes and just make sure all of our panel gaps and everything are where they should be and make any adjustments to the hinges to cope with that. And then we could actually get to installing uh, the dining table, which we had a little bit of a mishap. We forgot the screws for that, so Molly had to run out and go get some more screws from the store because we're so far away from the house. And uh, luckily the store had what we needed. So uh, we, with, with the dining table, because I don't think many of y'all have seen how that goes together, it's an X base that slides together and then we have some C channel that actually mounts to the base and then that C channel then mounts to the table top. So we're using the C channel not only to keep the top uh, flat, but as well as attaching it to the base, which creates this fully seamless look underneath, which is really nice. And ultimately this install just turned out incredible and our client absolutely loved it, which is obviously the most important thing. And they're amazing clients, by the way. These are some of our favorite clients we've ever had. They're just incredible people and uh, everything, our entire experience on our side was also great, which is what we want, right? We want a mutually awesome experience together and uh, hopefully we'll get to do some more stuff for them uh, in the near future as well. But yeah, the install just turned out incredible. The space looks amazing and I, I'm really happy with the way the design came out because I designed this one pretty much from scratch. Now I'll be quiet and let you see some of the final shots here and bask in all of its glory. Well guys, that's gonna wrap up this video. We'll see you in the next one. Peace.